What's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today, we're gonna learn this new riff, or this old riff, rather, <laughs> in a new way. And this is for you guys that just wanna have fun with these riffs that you might already know, and you're tired of playing them the same way without a band, and maybe you just wanna have fun by yourself, right? Uh, and that's what a lot of my lessons are about. It's about having fun playing guitar, you know, on your own, and without relying on a band or even backing tracks. So a lot of that is fingerstyle guitar. Today what we're talking about is kind of this percussive thing that happens so often in hill country blues and it's so fun to play it, make things that are old and tired, they're not really old and tired, I actually love that riff, but it makes things new again and makes things more fun to play when you're by yourself. So let's jump in, I want to show you just these cool techniques and then a couple other cool tricks that I've learned recently that I want to share with you guys, so watch to the end to make sure to get all those tips. Basically we're just playing the riff exactly the same way as the real song. Okay, but I'm gonna switch guitars right now so that it sounds more like a regular guitar because I know a lot of you guys don't have these cool resonators, but I love this guitar. It's so much fun to play. If you guys are thinking about getting one, go for it. <laughs> we are in an open tuning. We're in open D. Now the real song, it's in open E, which is basically the exact same thing as open D, except up a full step. Now a lot of guitars can't comfortably get up to open E, so that's why we're doing it in open D instead. So the normal riff, it's played like this. Okay, so nothing has changed from that, it, except normally that's played with a pick, and of course on an electric. Um, with a pick, it might sound a little bit different like this. Okay, it's a little brighter, and you can get a little bit more aggressive with it. But I want to show you the fingerstyle kind of version. Now what we're adding to that is the percussive element. Let me show you how to do that. So this lap's gonna go on beats three every time. We're counting this like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. your index finger for the whole riff. I mean besides the thumb, or you can use alternate between these two. Okay, the other parts are pretty standard. There's just the open section here, you know, and then the 10th fret on that one part. And then we've got the main riff. Finally, we just have this third fret. And fifth fret. Okay, all the other stuff I think is gonna be pretty easy for you to follow with the tabs. I'm just gonna do my best to play it slowly with the metronome right now and try to follow along. After that, I'm gonna show you one last trick that really helped me out with the slide. One, two.
There's our slow playthrough. The last thing I wanted to say is the reason I'm wearing my slide on my middle finger, I've actually never done this before, but this is how Billy Gibbons wears his slide. He wears it on his middle finger, or at least he did when he was younger. Now this slide is the uh, ZZ Top's uh, version. It's, it's a um, ceramic slide. Reverend, it says Reverend Willie's Mexican Lottery on there. Um, Mexican Lottery brand. Uh, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's ZZ Top's kind of slide that they sell. This huge slide, I think it only comes in one size and it does not fit on my finger as you can see. So what I've done here is a really cool trick uh, that I've learned and I'll show you. So I've basically just stuffed the inside with this paper towel, which I've just taken a paper towel, ripped up paper towel, which I got right here, ripped off a corner of it, and then wrapped that around my finger like this. And then when I stuff this in here, it has like way better grip. Uh, and then if my finger gets sweaty or whatever, it really absorbs a lot of that uh, stuff. And now I can hold it, it stays on my finger uh, wherever, and I can still bend my finger inside there a little bit. It's it's just holding it with a better grip, um, which just helps so much. Like without, you know, I don't have to worry about it falling off. Now, for more advanced slide players, what they're doing is they're actually bending their finger inside there, so they'll kind of have their finger kind of curved like that, and that will hold it in place. If you're just kind of getting going on slide, stuff like this really helps. This is a really, really good tip because if the slide doesn't fit, like there's just no way you're ever gonna use it. So take all those slides that you guys have, I'm sure you have 15 of them like everybody does that don't fit, <laughs> and then start to relearn to use them by wrapping some paper towels around. It's so easy and it feels really good and it's really easy and I don't, I don't save it. I just, you know, I toss the paper towels or sometimes I'll leave them in there. And then I'll just, you know, grab a new one for the next time I'm playing. <laughs> Anyways, this was a lot of fun. I just wanted to share this with you. This is something I've been having fun with uh, from a student request uh, this week. And I wanted to show you guys. Anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.